Okay, hi everyone. My name is Ron Humphrey. Uh, I'm a sociology major at Cal State East Bay. This is my second quarter. And uh, this video is for Rec 3202, Section 3, for the winter quarter of 2014. So before I get started, uh, this is my first ever video blog of any kind. So uh, bear with me if I seem a little nervous or anything like that. Okay, as far as my leisure and hobby activities go, um, I go to the gym on a pretty regular basis, uh, four to five times a week. And then I, I also have a 10-month-old German short hair pointer puppy. And uh, he sure is a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, I train uh, to hunt birds, uh, pheasants, and chucker. And um, shoot, during the week when we can't go hunting, like almost all my spare time is taking them out, getting them to proper exercise because they're like one of the most uh, exercise needy dogs there are. So hopefully right now I'm going to insert a clip of him uh, running through a field so you guys can uh, take a look at my, my pup. And then I'll continue the video shortly after that. Dicky, here. Sit. Dicky, sit. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, that was uh, my hunting buddy, Dicky Brown. Um, that orange thing you've seen around his neck is just a uh, training tool, shot collar, I guess, is what uh, a lot of people call it. But really, it keeps him safe. He works at long distances, and I need something to help them avoid certain things or come to me when needed to avoid danger. So in actuality, it's a good thing. Um, as far as influences on my leisure activities and hobby choices, uh, my parents had a strong uh, influence on me as far as exercise. When I was growing up, my dad ran three marathons. Uh, my mom's ran several half marathons, but competes in triathlons still. In fact, she's 59 years old and still does a minimum of two triathlons per year. So. Exercise has always been a big part in my family. Uh, last spring, my sister won the San Luis Obispo Marathon. Came in first place, and uh, boy, that, that was a thrill. So exercise has always been a big part of my family, and uh, it's uh, stuck with me. Um, as far as hunting goes, uh, two years ago, I used to drink a lot of beer. So uh, a couple years ago, I quit drinking beer, and it uh, took a little bit of time to think about what I want to do as far as hobbies go, to replace all that time I spent drinking beer. And uh, I kind of looked to where, what uh, my grandfathers used to do. They used to have dogs, and uh, one of them used to bird hunt with his dog a lot. So it was a logical choice, and uh, it was something that I always wanted to get into. I tried it a little bit with one with my grandfather when I was growing up, but um, it was a, that was definitely a factor in me choosing uh, to get into bird dog hunting. Well, I chose yoga as my cross-gender activity. Um, the gym I go to has four classes per week, and I should be able to make at least one, hopefully two of those per week, uh, to get into a little bit of yoga. Um, never tried it before. I never really take any classes at the gym. I just always lift weights or do cardio by myself. Well, I guess I'm kind of self-conscious. So that's why I've never tried it before. My mom and my sister do hot yoga. So it's gonna be kind of nice doing something that um, the females in my family participate in so I can relate to their experiences. Now as far as uh, my biggest difficulties in taking these classes is probably gonna be, like I said before, my self-consciousness and also uh, my flexibility. I'm kind of like the classic male where uh, I'm strong but I'm not very flexible. So. Hopefully, uh, I won't pull a groin or a hamstring or something like that, but uh, I think it should be interesting. So, I hope everybody has a great quarter, and uh, good luck on the assignment, and I'll see you guys in a week or two. Thank you.